Hello adventurers, welcome back to my time at Sand Rock. Yes, I know, always need to go to bed just a little bit earlier, but I never tend to. So, uh, like always, first thing in the morning, gonna go get ourselves a commission. Two, maybe three, I don't know. Two for sure. Um, hopefully at some point we can take three, but maybe we're not quite ready for three either. So, we'll see what, what we have to offer anyways. Uh, let's go outside. We got some letters in the mailbox. I'm thinking that's from Chi. I think uh, our blender is going to be ready for today. And then we just have one more thing to get researched for now. And we're all set. Mian is a fast runner. For where she lives, she gets here really, really fast. But I mean, for her, it's all downhill. So maybe that helps her. I don't know. Uh, a whole bunch of commissions on the board. Let's see what we got here. We're looking for high end points. Metal hinges for 54. What's this for 92? Um, you just want an outstanding one? I think we'll take that one. I think we can do that. And then 57 for bloodstone cores. They want perfect ones though. Um, I'd rather just take something that's uh, rather simpler. And I think metal hinges might be the way to go. Uh, let's go, wait, what's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go metal hinges. How about that? You just want outstanding ones? All right. Metal hinges and, uh, yeah, the other thing that we need to make. Um, double check on the board here. I think we're doing just fine. Yeah, we're pulling away from Yan pretty, at a pretty good clip so far. So I think we're all set. Uh, we still got one more month to go. So I think we're going to be in the clear here. I think the first season that we're here at Sand Rock, we'll be finishing first. And usually after you get that far, if I remember my time at Porsche, um, it was not that difficult to finish first all the time. Uh, let's see, what is today? Today is a Thursday. So, Fang... Stopping to go, go see Fang to get a special... Oh, Katori! Uh, the collaboration between City Hall... The, the collaboration between City Hall and Golden Goose Entertainment is now complete. Stop by yourself or bring your friends to this fabulous and exciting new addition to Sand Rock. The Sand Runner Complex. Grand opening tomorrow at 12. Special thanks to me and Mian for their... Con what did Mian do? Uh, I don't know what she did. Uh, for our contrib contrib uh, contributions to construction. And that's it. Uh, I thought we were getting our blender today, but I guess I was wrong. Let me go ahead and gather our water or dew that we collected overnight. And we'll get started right on... I'm probably going to make the metal hinges first... Or you know what, let me get this uh, Magneto Inspector up on the assembly station. Where is that thing? I built one before, or I've built a couple of them so far. Uh, glass lenses, bronze frames, rubber shells. Doesn't seem that complicated. Uh, glass lenses, uh, rubber shells we got. Glass lenses, one bronze frame. One bronze frame. Can I make a bronze frame right off the... I can. And glass lenses. Oh, uh, I need to make a couple of those. Luckily, we've been making some bronze bars. Ooh, uh, we are a little bit dirty, aren't we? Well, look at all the bronze bars we got for now. Uh, I tend to go through them pretty darn quick. I just felt like I cleaned all this stuff. We must have had a sandstorm last night. Uh, no, wait, what am I doing? I got to make some bronze pipes. No, it's bronze pipes, not bars. And... Uh, pipes and I need two glasses so I need two so I, I might just make five of them let me go ahead and grab all this stuff here I think the pipes are gonna be made here yeah we'll go ahead and just make four of them oh now this is where I can make the metal hinges as well uh, I can make the metal hinges in the other one uh, it's a processor grinder uh, we need to make five of them oh I gotta put those in the silver grinder okay yeah, that, that's kind of my bad my bad. Uh, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and clean up this place a little bit so everything runs more efficiently. I don't know if I gotta do each individual one or what is the area of effect on this duster. So, the only missions that we got now are the ones we took. Um, we're just waiting on all the other stuff. You, no, you want to dust that. Why, why are we not dusting? I can see the there we go. So not, no side stories currently that we're working on. Oh, um, 
Amira, I gotta go ahead and probably uh, make some more gifts for her. There, everything's looking nice and clean now. Clean-ish. A whole bunch of cleaning going on. There we go. So that is all set. Now let me go ahead and put that away. Uh, so while we're waiting for that to be built, and I can't make the metal hinges because... Well, you know what? I can just go ahead and make the bronze pipes in this. Hang on a second. Uh, let me go ahead and make four in here. Craft those up in here. Let me come back over here and we will cancel this out. I hope I get my bar uh, bars back by canceling it. I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead and craft those five in there. And there, now both of our commissions are being taken care of, I hope. Uh, let me go over here and put the bronze frame in. And there we go. Uh, that is all set. Um, can I make... What, what can I make here? Tailoring machine. Can I make anything out of interest for a mirror? I don't think so. Let me come over to here. Uh, Yakamil horns. I can make Yakamil horns. I don't know who wants those. Uh, a golden earring bone. Did I make that before for her? Amber earrings. Can I make that? No, I can't. Uh, golden earring bone. It's kind of funny. It's a golden ear bone. Uh, sorry, it's a golden ear bone ring. Not earring, but earring bones. Uh, golden ear bone ring, but I'm not using any gold to make it. Uh, we'll, we'll craft one and see what happens. Um, and we'll go and visit her later on. And see how she likes it. Um, I think while we're waiting, we're going to go over to the further ruins. Because I want to keep on going down. One, I can collect some ore. Uh, we need to go further down. And maybe I'll find some of Chi's uh, artifacts that he's looking for. Relics. I thought about going up and seeing Chi now to make sure I have something on research. But... I can go see him when I go hand in Amira's gift later on this afternoon. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I didn't check my inventory. Hopefully my inventory is clean enough. Uh, kind of? <laughs> I got a lot of parts of relics in my inventory. Uh, I should be looking... Hope Maybe I, I can also look around town... Later on for a blueprint for a bigger storage chest or something. Or I just got to make more storage chests to put more relics in. When I was at the museum last episode, I saw we had like a lot of, you know, we have a lot of relics. Parts of relics. Just a whole bunch of them. Oh, since we're over here, I may go look at the course that Kintori has set up. Or I'm not going to be able to see it too well. All right. I kind of remember something at my time at Porsche. I think we rode a horse around at my time at Porsche. Around the course. All that good stuff. Gecko Station Ruins. We are at level 4. Let's go ahead and enter. Uh, okay, so apparently it's been a week. So, 300 ghouls for a ticket. We're good for it. Actually, we must be getting pretty close to 20,000 ghouls in order to expand our workshop. All right, so here we are. Let's get our pick hammer. Uh, yep, that's the way to hit the power stone. Uh, let me turn on my scanner here. See what we got. Any any goodies? Whole bunch of goodies down here. Actually, while we're here, let me go ahead and turn on uh, missions. No, nope, we'll turn on this. That way I'll know if I get one. She always wants some interesting stuff. Can we hit the pirate? Thank you. It's not that hard to do that, but apparently for me it is. Oh, Magni's ore. I need, I need some of that stuff. That's where the door is. But there is something over here. 
Yeah, give me some more pyrite, please. And do another quick scan. Don't see nothing. All right, let's head on through. Big room. Anything? Anything? I mean, yeah, I see a lot of things I can. Let's go ahead and hit with the pickaxe. So I'm looking for, like, relics and parts and such. Oh, they're all clustered over here. I'm guessing his stuff is going to be on the lower levels anyway, like it was in the other ones. I don't know how I just fit that in, the, in my back pocket, but apparently I did. Uh, there's the door there. I want some more Magnese ore because I want to make more of those bars if I can. When I get back. And start getting a stockpile of stuff. Why can't I go through here? So let's back up and... There we go, I think. That's, that's on the other side, that's why. Um, did I miss the door? Okay, like, the door's gotta be at the other end, I suppose. And another level. Can I see what's on the other levels if I haven't been there yet? I'm guessing not, but maybe... No, I think I can, because I think on the other ruins we did that. Doesn't matter, because we can't get there until we pass all the levels that we are... Well, that we got to go through. Alright, so right now I'm really basically relic hunting is what I'm doing. Because I would like to be able to make some of the stuff at the museum and get some of the stuff out of my pockets. Okay, that was further over than I thought it was. Um, these are on the other side of the door? Or just right below me? Did I get them all? Uh, they might be on the... They're below us. the heck is that noise, man? There's something moving. Still haven't found one of Chi's uh, relic pieces. Pyrate while we're down here. I'd like to get all of everything if I could, but that's just not going to be in the cards for us, I don't think. I am looking for different material that we haven't mined yet. That kind of scares me. It sounds like it's underneath us, whatever it is. beneath us and some relics or possible parts are beneath us you would think with all the relics and stuff I'm gathering today I should be able to make something at the museum what the heck is this uh, I don't think it's actually anything
Okay, so whatever it is, it sounds like it's... Can I demolish this car? Nope, I thought I was going to be able to demolish this thing. Okay, my guess is to get in here... If it's a thing, is there, is there an access door? Here, can I? No, I'm trying to get the dirt out of the way. No? I want in. I'm going to run out of stamina just to get in here, though. And we're not going to find out what it is that's making all that noise, right? Um. It's a treasure chest with electricity going to it. And there's a string going to this. Okay, so can I do anything with this mound? No. Uh, not sure how if I get my spear up. Can I... Uh, how, how bad can this hurt? Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do the quick save here. Just in case. Uh, okay, so I didn't get zapped from the treasure chest. So they weren't really going to the treasure chest, they're just wires going near the treasure chest. Oh, can I pick up the teddy bear? Hello, Mr. Teddy Bear. Uh, apparently, I can't do anything with you. And we're down to five stamina. So I think we're going to go ahead and exit on out of the ruins. Uh, can I check the levels from here? Relocate. Transport to entrance. Uh, we'll confirm. Oh, it's not going to show me that you are here. It's just going to re-enter me back at the level that we're at. I think. Uh, nope, kick me right back on out. Alright, you know what the heck with it. Uh, we'll find out another time. Don't don't hold up the picker frame, put your... Yeah, there we go. We're all set. Alright, uh, let's run back to the workshop, see if all that stuff is done. If it is, that's great, because we can get these uh, two commissions done. Uh, I didn't find any of Chi's uh, relics parts that he's looking for, so maybe next time. But we're getting there. Ah, home sweet home. All right, so yeah, we got the golden ear bone rings. So we'll see what we get before doing gifts on that. Uh, the hinges are almost done. Where's my pipes? My pipes are over here. Uh, there's Mian. Oh wait, Mian was looking for a bronze plate. I wonder. Hang on a second. Hey there. Uh, we'll chat with her. Gosh, I really wish I had a bronze plate. Uh, do you have one to spare? Do you? So I can't give her one when she asked for it, but I think I got one in my inventory. I think I picked them up up. The, yep, there we go. Uh, she really loves those, so let's go ahead and confirm. Yep, 12 relationship points. Oh, yeah, this is great. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Catch you later. I do what I can. Uh, glass lenses. That's what we're after. Glass lenses. Uh, make sure we make two of those. Let's pop over here and let's go ahead and pick that up. Hopefully I got room in my inventory. It looks like I do. Ten more seconds and we'll uh, get those done. And the commissions are for who? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to mark her first because she might be anywhere. And then he might be right at the train. Five, four, three, two... One. Ta-da! All done. Let's grab those up. Uh, while we're away... Oh, we're still making bronze bars out of these. Uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll just let that continue because I probably need them anyways. But we're going to start making some magnes bars, I think. Get them all ready to go. Uh, Jensen, that's your name. Howdy! Uh, hello, Jensen. Guess what I got for you. Uh, confirm. Confirm. 
Thanks, Builder. You're reliable as the Atari Express. Get you later. So almost a thousand ghouls, 77 workshop reputation, 16 with Jensen, and uh, other experience as well, which is always good. On up to City Hall. Oh, that's right. I do want to give, um, not the golden ear bone ring. I want to give Amira the picture of herself. Hey there. Yeah, well, guess what we got for you? The light thanks you, my child. Now take this and go, go to relish in your good deeds. Be seeing you. So almost, uh, well, 11, 64 ghouls, 132 workshop reputation, 673. Yeah, you, you saw it. <laughs> uh, that should really push us ahead of Yan and everyone else. But it's fun to get the commissions done, one for the ghouls right now, because I want to expand the workshop. I want to buy the land that we possibly can. That way we can really start decorating and understanding where everything should and need. Well, I wouldn't say need to go, but we look good at going in. Uh, speaking of going in, Amira's home. Let's see if she's home today. Uh, we tried last in the last episode to find her and she just never appeared. Uh, but she's here. You should try your hand at pottery sometime. It's a good form of expression. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, so I gotta find this picture of herself. Uh, nope, that's not what we're looking for. Do, is it in my inventory, or am I just missing it? Um, so, I may not be able to give it to her as a gift. I'm just scrolling with my eyes right now, trying to see if I can find it. I mean, I do got a picture, but it's not of her. Alright, let me just double check. Is it actually in my inventory? I, I probably can't give it as a gift. Uh, searching, searching. Photo of the Desert Rose. So it does give me luck. Cannot sell, no drop. Tourist for script. So if I hang at my house, I get a luck of nine, but then I got a picture of her that she does not like. Uh, but I can't give it as a gift. Uh, so anyways, I got to give her a gift while we're here, and we're gonna, now we're going to give her the ring. I don't think this is going to go over too well, but we'll see. Uh, plus three. It's a thought that counts. Yeah, it is. And it's not, uh, I don't know, it's not really made of gold, um, but what have you. You got it. Now, I did notice I had about 116 data disk. So let's go up and see Chi... Since I didn't get the blender today, I'm probably going to get it tomorrow. And when that happens, then we'll come up and we'll get the last piece that we can research currently in the game. And that will be the upgraded cooking stove, whatever it might be called in this game. Uh, yeah, he's probably upstairs eating. Uh, let's go to here. Just make sure everything here is complete. Yeah, the blender, one day remaining. And then we got this, uh, which is the apprentice cooking... Oh, sorry. Uh, the chef's cooking station. So this will be ready tomorrow, so no sense of... They can't speed it up. But we'll be back to see him and then upgrade... Not upgrade, but research the last thing that we have. All right. Let's see if I can get to the museum before it closes and see if I can build any more relics. Uh, 18, uh, no, I think the museum is closed. But we're here, we'll give it a shot. I think it's going to be closed. Yep, okay. Alrighty. Now, uh, furniture shop. Is that where I need to go to possibly buy a blueprint to make bigger storage? Let me go back in and see what uh, Amira actually has in her store. I don't think I look too hard. I think it's going to be decorational items. 
Uh, pottery, defensive points is four. And then she actually has quartz and bloodstone to sell. That's all she has currently. I'm pretty sure they're going to expand on the stores when they uh, add more to the game. Alright, so the only place I can... Th well, there's a couple places I can think of. We'll go, t we'll go talk to her brother. And let's see here. What do we got? That'd be under furniture? Work table by the stairs. Bigger than a smaller storage box. Uh, so I can make those. A small wooden bookcase with lots of components for holding things, including but not limited to books. I built one of these, I think thought and it doesn't store anything displaying objects wooden bookcase isn't that what I built and it didn't really do us anything nothing special just a regular bed but one can sleep well enough yeah not, not nothing I'm really looking for well I think what I'm going to do because I had no stamina uh, I'm going to go back to the workshop. I'm going to clean up uh, all the stuff that's been made. See if I can get some magnesium bars up and going. And get to bed early tonight for a change. Let me just double check on the map. Uh, see if there's anything I should be doing here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Do I got question marks or anything like that showing on the map? Not currently. Yep, not currently. So I think we're we're good to go. As the wind starts blowing on in. Yeah, so these are going to keep on going, which is fine. And I don't believe I can make magne magnesium bars in these furnaces. Um, I don't know. Should I upgrade these? It seems like it requires a lot to upgrade them. Bloodstone cores. Bronze sticks. Alright, uh, probably go ahead and make some... Did I say bronze sticks or pipes? I thought I said sticks. I did say sticks. And pipes. Okay, so it's sticks and pipes. Uh, there's bronze pipes. So I'm going to go ahead and make... Oh, we'll just craft that. That's a lot of bronze bars I just used. And sticks. And while we're over here, I want to make sure our furnace is... Oh, yep, that's uh, that's almost down to nothing here. Let me go ahead and add all this. Confirm. Let's go ahead and add... Power stones. Oh, only 18? And we're full. We are full. Alright, I'm going to come over here and how much water can I make currently? Six. That's actually pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and fill this up if I can. Ooh, that didn't do that much, but um, it did well enough. All right, so I think everything's okay and good enough to go here. Uh, I don't have anything to recycle, do I? Zero, zero, zero in my inventory. And speaking of inventory, let's go over here and let's do a quick sort all. Confirm. And that leaves how much room in my inventory? Uh, this is what we see. This is what we got. Uh, I'm at 18,000 ghouls, so maybe tomorrow if we do well enough, it is 20,000, correct? And yet yeah, 20,000 ghouls for expanding. All right, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. I need to go to bed early for a change. And because we got to go to the festival tomorrow... A lot of commotion on the side. I better go see what's going on. I think this is going to be Logan. It sounds like gunshots and such. As we all patiently wait to see what happens. And... Come back here, you dirty barman!
I should check on the water tower. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh oh, Burgess is not going to be happy. Burgess, are you all right? What happened? Logan, he came out of nowhere. I, I couldn't stop him. It's okay, as long as no one's hurt. Well? The coward escaped. He's gone too far this time. I'm afraid you're right, Sheriff. I think we need to face the truth. Logan is no longer the person we knew. He and his gang need to be brought in. For too long we have allowed him to do whatever he liked because we respected his paw. But after the temple incident, the hijacked train, now with this water tower, it's just the last straw. What's wrong with that boy? Old oh, man Howlett would have been so sad to see his boy acting such a fool. We showed those gigglers that sand rock ain't nothing to mess with. What's a couple of podunk, two-bit crooks to brave folk like us? I say we get a posse together and make Logan pay for what he's done. Brave folks like us. Maybe one third are that brave? Say no more, Minister. Civil Corps with me. Let's see if we can't track down that ne'er do well before the trail goes cold. Hey, now, as senior officer and guy who's been here in this town way longer than your Mr. Macho Protein huffing behind, I give the orders round here. But, uh, yeah, unsure, do a pin set. Let's ride. Now, we need to get ourselves a new water tower in a hurry. Hmm. Any suggestions, anyone? Anyone? Without it, our town can't easily access water from the oasis. The only solace I can find in all this mess is that at the very least, the water tower was almost empty. Our next shipment of water ought to arrive soon. But before that... Where is that Commerce Commissioner? Uh, right behind you, Minister. Yes. Yen, I need your guild to help our town rebuild this water tower before the next water shipment. I trust y'all can handle it? Is the sun hot? Does sand sting? Of course we can handle it. We'll also make the new water tower absolutely, positively Logan-proof. There's just one minor thing. The inconvenient matter of... <clears throat> the bill... Matilda doesn't seem happy about that, but... Uh, of course, of course. Uh, I'll just put it on the tab. I'll have my builders working on it by tomorrow. Hear that, builders? Oh, drat. Where did the other one go? Go find that slacker co-worker of yours and tell her to expect the job to begin first thing in the morning. Pronto! All right, folks, let's move along then. Nothing more to see here. Let's just trust in our civil corps that there will be no more of these incidents. Indeed, y'all. Rest assured that everything is going to turn out all right in the end. Alright, um, I gotta find me in. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, she probably went down and got her commission. Wait, what is over there? Is that where the water tower... Sticks and stones? Okay. Well, let's go find out what our commissions will be for the day. And looks like next day we'll have commissions on the board for the city to take care of. Now let's see what we're going to get our fingers into today. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? 34, 74. Glass lenses. Uh, those are easy to make. I'm guessing... Though he's going to want, he just wants outstanding ones. Okay. An apprentice cooking station. That's level two, right? I think so. I uh, just wants an outstanding one. We can get right on that as well. Uh, let me just try a third one to see if it uh, will go through. Oh, uh, this one would be a good one if I could. No, can't. All right, no problem. Let's go back to the workshop and see what we have. 
We should get a letter from Chi saying that our blender is ready, so that's something else I need to build. But we'll make sure we get our commissions done first before we throw that in the assembly station, if that's where it's made. Uh, yep, let's check the mailbox from Katori. Oh yeah, the show must go on. Yeah, that's right. Despite the instance you may or may not have heard about like three minutes ago. Uh, the Sand Runner Complex will be opening as scheduled tomorrow at 12. So that's tomorrow? I thought it was going to be today at 12. Uh, Golden Goose Entertainment would also just like to remind people that the danger of bandits in Sand Rock has been greatly uh, extricated and, enc and encourages anyone and everyone to bring their friends and stop in for the great opening of the Sand Runner. Golden Goose Entertainment is not responsible for any damages caused by the bandit-related mishaps. Uh, so it's, uh, that's, that's the date of the letter, so let's go ahead and confirm that. Research Center, yeah, we know. Gee, we're not going to, to try to, uh, question your diagrams at all. All right, let's hop over here, and the cooking station, apprentice cooking station, copper pot, marble side, rubber side, bronze bar, hardwood. Uh, should be able to do that. I don't want to say no problem. What do I got here? I got the bronze bars, copper pot, marble slabs I got, copper pot, uh, rubber shells we got, copper pot, uh, hardwood we got, copper pot. So I just need one copper pot. I think I can make that in here, right? Copper pot and crack that. And glass lenses, he wants four. So I need more bronze pipes. I'll craft those. And I got bronze pipes. Right there. And we'll craft two more. And we should be good to go on all that stuff, right? Um, because this is one outstanding stuff. Complete the order. Outstanding. Two. Complete the order. Two. Oh, I haven't finished that one yet. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Wait, do what? she wants two of them. Oh, she wants two of them. That's why it pays so well. Uh, I got one or two. There's four. All right, so I got to build another one. Uh, yeah, I, did, I didn't know she wanted two of them. Assemble. Guess what? I don't have everything I need now. But, um, wait, copper pot. I made two of them, apparently. So I need more marble slabs. I need three marble slabs. And is that made here? Yes, it is. I can make two. And then I got to come over to here. Marble brick. I'm going to go ahead and just make ten of those. Get that on the go. Uh, so we'll be able to finish that later on. Let me just grab those. And I think we are okay to go for now. In the meantime, let me go into the book here. No, book. And let me see, where's this blender at? So we can see what that's going to need. Uh, blender, there it is. Uh, bronze blades, steel bars, bearings, engines. Bronze blade, huh? Bronze, bronze, bronze. Bronze blades. Uh, I can craft one of those. How about that? All right, so we got that. So, um, I got to go see Chi anyways. So I'll hand him his glass lenses. I'll get the last thing we need to research started. I may even speed up the process because we got a lot of data disk currently. So I might as well use them on up. And then I can really stockpile them for when more material gets released. We'll be good to go. Then we'll go talk to Mian. Oh, I want to go down to the museum as well. I'm telling whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Logan's innocent. What? I know Logan. We practically grew up together. He was always the goody two-shoes. I just can't accept that he would do something like this. Um, Elsie, everyone saw him bomb the temple. And then the water tower. And then there's all the other stuff. I mean... I just want to be sure. Please? Alright, what can I help you with? See, I don't think he did this without reason. I want to take a look at his house, which is right here, and do some hands-on investigating. For the truth. What do you need me for? 
Because... Because? Because you're smarter than me, okay? Don't sell yourself short, Elsie. Oh, don't try to be nice, Mian. I'm dumber than a box of rocks. We all know it. The only way we're gonna learn all the facts is if I can get your help. I do want to help, but I don't think we can just walk so in. So we're in agreement, then. Hey, keep it down. You trying to get us in trouble? Oh, shoot. How do I always get involved in this stuff? You didn't see nothing. Uh, yeah, I want to say, what are you two doing? I guess we're breaking into Logan's house to look for clues as to why he went off the deep end and blew up the temple. And we're gonna prove Logan's innocent, too! Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, why don't you join us, Elsie? I think we could use one more member of the team who's... Um... Um... I'm gonna say cool, calm, and collected, I guess. Or no, I'm gonna say a total wild card because I don't know what the heck's going on here and I don't know what, how I'm gonna react to this, but we'll see. <laughs> say, that is you two at sea, ain't it? Oh, uh, okay. The strong silent type plays by their own rules. All right, you made your point. You're in. I am? But okay. I better not hear about you squealing, especially not to my pa. Are you gonna tell me not to squeal? We'll see. <sighs> well, then, shall we? The sooner we get through this, the sooner I can fix that window. Am I actually going to go inside the house and look around? I think so, because it says Logan's home here. Hunker in, you two. Spread out and look for clues. Uh, aren't you going to do anything? I already came in here a while back. I didn't find nothing. That's where y'all and them higher education brains of y'all's come in. Uh, all right. Let's look around then. Hey, what's this? Oh yeah, I've seen everything over there. Bunch of lame junk. No, Elsie, this is a clue. Huh? No way. Yes way. Take a look. Interact with the clues to enter the investigation interface. Click on different areas of the highlighted item for detailed investigation. You can view the details of the item by rotating it. Use this to find all the relevant clues. And information from clues can be repeated. When you obtain a clue, your progress will be updated in the top right corner. Okay, so this is kind of like the inspections that we do. Um... Busy wedding. This man looks like he, uh, the host. His eyebrows are especially... Okay, that was kind of quick. A beautiful kind of looking bride, but with a distant look, this should be Logan's ma. His eyebrows are especially like Owen's according to the time of the photo. Oh, so I found four of the six clues. Which is just clicking on the people itself. Um, okay, so that's the same... Same thing here. Alright, uh, we'll zoom in, I guess. Oh, the back side. The initials of the brother and the year of their marriage. Photo was torn in two. They split up. So that's clue six out of six. All right, confirm, rotate. What's so now? What? I got six out of six clues. What? What do I do now? I 
hardly recognize anybody in this photo. Is that Logan's pa? And that's probably his ma. How come I've never heard anything about her? It's not gonna be Matilda, is it? That'd be kind of weird. Um, sorry to interrupt, but how does this prove Logan's innocent? Everything we find here is a piece of the puzzle. Every object tells a small part of a bigger story. Also, Logan is not innocent. I would really give that one a rest. However, learning the motives of everyone involved brings us closer to the truth. And there's one person in this photo who will be able to tell us all about what happened at this wedding. Owen. Exactly. Owen is here in the background of this photo. He was there. He must know more about Logan's past. Her first clue. This photo is so old, I ain't even born yet. Hardly recognize anyone on here. Hmm. Well, I have brought my camera. Why don't I start taking photos of anything we find that's interesting? I can mail copies to you guys, then later we can ask people in town about what we find. But, uh, try to be subtle. We're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> so, we're not supposed to be in here, we're supposed to be subtle about it. But we're going to take pictures of what we took inside the house and ask people about it later on. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright, let's spread out and keep looking. Yeah, let's pretend we weren't here, but we got photos of, of what we took uh, when we were here. Um, it's a small room, so I, uh, am I supposed to be just keep on looking, or? Yeah, we, we, we've done that. Oop, check. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff here. It's likely a uh, prescription written by Dr. Fang. It says for... Okay. Um, that was clue one. <laughs> uh, some jagged notes highlighted a very... Uh, uh, highlighting a few sentences in the medical... Yep, whatever that said. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can click on it again. Can I click on it again? Uh, I guess not. This medical description looks very professional. It's full of unintelligible work and unintelligible. I'm trying to read it fast because it's only up to a couple of seconds. Uh, a scrawled note with an address and the word Dr. Alan Carter. And, and I couldn't read the rest. Oh, there we go. Uh, why did they contact another doctor? All right, so can I go back and read the other ones, please? Um, apparently not. Well, all right. Howlett? Who could that be? Uh, Logan's Pa. Some kind of wolf owl. I want to say Logan's Pa. Precisely. No doubt. The builder deduced this from the torn photograph and the initials H and C. H for Howlett. Or someone just asked pretty much anybody in town. Everybody knows Logan's pa's name. I thought y'all were just playing around. Yes. Uh, we're new of here. Of course. We're, we're the two new builders, Elsie. Anyway, why is Logan interested in medicine? Somehow I don't see him as the type to shift from monster hunter to doctor. Why did he need to consult a doctor anyway? Don't we all? Well, despite the indecipherable handwriting, I can decipher that Dr. Fang probably wrote this prescription. Let's ask him about it later. All right, can, can we... Oh, so when we broke into a house, we kind of... Am I still looking for stuff, or are we, are we looking around? What, what are we doing? Oh, check around Logan's house. All right, let me go. Let me go into my. Um, let's get rid of this uh, mission right there, and let's just get the one where we gotta do this. Mark map, drawing on the wall, weapon rack. I always like checking out racks, so let's go check one out. Uh, an assortment of armor, chest plates, knee caps, etc. All are. Mm hmm. A heavy sword that hasn't been used for a while is still sharp. Mian, you're kind of in the way. 
This space is empty. It's obvious uh, the weapon has been was placed here. Consist yeah. Mm -hmm. And an assortment of armored chest. Uh, knee capture all available. Some armored pieces. That was all, all four clues. This must be Logan's paws equipment. And Logan probably took the missing dagger. That's the only explanation that makes sense. What do you think? I'm going to say impressive. I don't want to say that's an easy one. <laughs> uh, well, you know, elementary and all that. I'm sure you figured that one out already, too. But thanks anyway. All right, she saw right through that one. Hate to get in the way of y'all's mutual back patting, but Logan and his father were monster hunters. Of course they had fighting gear. Monster hunters who had their weapons forged by Hugo. Look at that insignia. I'll get you a picture of the equipment later. Can you go and show it to Hugo? Maybe he can tell us more about the father-son pair. All right, uh, desk of inventions. Um... It seems that there was a plan drawn on the map, but it was discarded and the paper was crumbled into a ball. So this looks like sand rock right here with... Isn't that where Zeke's uh, farm is? Oh wait, is there a clue? Is there... Okay, it seems that someone... Okay, so I just gotta click on the clues and I'm gonna keep seeing the same thing. Uh, it looks like so. No, it looks like someone, somewhere in the village next door, this is their destination. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nothing on the back. I'm missing a clue somewhere. Oh, found it right in the dead center. And the paper's crumbled into a ball. Okay. This is an action plan for the bombing of the temple! Wow. I feel we found a key clue. But why does the plan feel like it's been rejected and changed? And how come the civil corps haven't been in here? This is all a bunch of malarkey. Logan would never come up with no plan. And certainly not a plan with no revisions. He just does whatever his heart tells him. Elsie, you're a genius! Huh? I am? This map gives us a clue about Logan's... Exactly! I can see it now. It's the wee hours of the morning. Haru, Logan's right-hand man, is scribbling madly on this map, begging Logan to see reason. No, Haru! I'm a mean bandit guy and I do whatever I want! Logan snatches Haru's plans right out of his hands, crumples them up and throws them onto the floor. We're bombing the temple and that's that. Hey, wait a sec. You just made all that stuff up. That'll prove a dad gum thing. Um, yes, everything I just said was pure conjecture. I suppose I could be wrong about everything. I guess they could have crumpled up that map for any number of reasons. This does give me another idea though. Logan's attitude towards the church. I think it would be worthwhile to ask some of the pastors what their view on all this is. Looks like we're going to be talking to a lot of people afterwards. Alright, so there's another room up here we did not go into. And what we got here? There are many facial creams, perfumes, soaps, and other items in crude handmade boxes. The booklet records in detail the recipes of many daily necessities. And there are many bottles and cans of ingredients, most of which are obtained from plants. Wow, that hey, is great I investigative know some of this work. Stuff. Isn't this RVO's 100% organic Sandrock skin cream? And is this a recipe on how to make it? You use beauty products? Yeah, so? Uh, I just always thought. Never mind. Anyway, the products here are all unique to Arvio's store. I kind of wanted to make some for myself, but he said they were all trade secrets. You're telling me Logan came up with the recipes? Of course not. 
Logan wouldn't concern himself with such meaningless pursuits. The nerd you seek goes by the name of... The nerd you seek goes by the name of... Well, I wouldn't say Cooper. Jensen doesn't seem like it. You got it. But, uh, wait. Why is this important again? It means Arvio got these recipes from Haru. Which means Arvio might know something. Hmm. The more we learn, the more tangled things become. Logan and his friends seem to be talented people. And now they're putting those talents to use in the wrong place. Let's ask Arvio what he knows. I don't think he'll be able to claim these as trade secrets anymore. Uh, Haru's work table, maybe? Alright, what do we got here? It, uh... It records the method of using chemical fertilizer and gunpowder to develop something or other. Uh, develop bombs. Part of the fuse is covered with a layer of material that can be produced produce oxygen in order to make fuse burn uninterrupted. So if I keep clicking on fast enough, it'll keep popping back up. But I think if I put it back down... Oh, well, never mind. That seems to work. Anyways, <laughs> it looks like the shell casings of a small bomb is made by hand. The wiring looks... Okay, but now I'm trying to double click on this and it uh, won't tell me. Nope. Uh, so it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, some black powder in a bottle, it's a little uh, pungent when you get close to it. And of course, that's a fuse. Hmm. These small bombs are meticulously crafted. The fact that they're made from everyday objects show that whoever made them had a good understanding of chemistry. Gosh. The standard of villainy really is pretty high around these parts, huh? Based on what I've heard about Logan, something like this is too sophisticated for him to have crafted himself. He must have someone really clever working for him, or backing him. Who's someone in San Rock who does a lot of fighting? Someone who might know who's been setting Logan up with these improvised bombs. I want to say Pen. Or improvised bombs. Uh, yeah, he might be able to tell us more about what the bombs are made of, but this isn't quite Doctor Chi level science. All right. Who might know about Logan and the bombs? Bingo. I mean, I was gonna say pen to begin with, but I think Chi would have been more sciency and know about all this stuff, but whatever. Pen's seen his share of fights. I'm sure he'll know where Logan's been getting his bombs from. And the drawing on the wall. Let me make a phone call first. I like to phone a friend. Uh, let's see. We got those. I don't think there's going to be anything in here because they all left the room. Oh no, Mian's back in here. It is a photo on the wall. Two young men with silver and blue hair, probably Logan and his partner Haru. The drawing shows two holding a little girl carrying a teddy bear backpack, probably Jasmine. Jasmine is still rather young. A small jasmine flower, the usual signature of jasmine. Sure. Looks like it was drawn by Jasmine. Okay, now y'all are playing around. What's a kid's drawing got to do with any of this? Well, obviously. It shows us that, um... I'm gonna say Logan was well-liked. I think so as well. If Jasmine was friends with Haru and Logan, I mean, they can't be that bad, right? Well, they can be. When you lack somebody and they do something to hurt you, that makes you double mad. That's why everyone wants to bring Logan in. I think you're right, Elsie. Can you go talk to Jasmine later? Maybe she knows something we've overlooked. Well, we searched everywhere, dusted every corner, and looked in every nook and cranny. And we came up with Diddly Squat. It's a bunch of chicken scratch! Aw, oh, Fooey, had me go in there for a second. Well, who knows? This could be exactly the break in the case we were looking for. The bombs, the medicine, 
Haru and Logan's past, it's all connected somehow. I just can't figure it out yet. And yet, I gotta go around and ask everyone. What's your take on all this? Um, I'm, I, I, you know, I, I can't say we should give up because that's not where they want me to go. Uh, uh, but yeah. I don't know, partner. I think I need to take a breather. I've been doing this investigating thing forever. Let's give me on some time to ponder on these here photographs, and perhaps we might reconvene at a later date. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks again for believing in me. Sorry I made you guys do all this. I, I still think Logan's a good guy, though. I hope you're right, Elsie. I know your heart is in the right place. And hey, don't talk like it's over. Maybe there really is something more we can do. All right, gang. Check your mailboxes for updates. Let's all head home. Well, that took quite a while. Uh, is that the door out? Um... Exit out the window that we came in. Okay. I mean, the door was right there at that point. should use the door. But the window that, that apparently we came in is just as good. All right. So after all that. That was exhilarating. Oh, okay. We're not done yet. I never thought I'd. Hey, guys. Hanging out in front of Logan's old house, I see. Uh, quick. Say something smooth. Say the word and I'll take him out. Uh, we were just fixing this window. Oh, yeah. You gotta do that. That's just one of the many things I admire about you guys. Always a keen eye for what needs to be done around here. Well, see ya. Whew, that was a close one. Nice work. All right, let's split up, gang. I'll provide updates for everyone via the mail. Check your mailboxes. All right, um... I that that was kind of long. Uh, I really forgot what I was doing. Did I, did I go see? Did I, did I go see Chi? I think I did. <laughs> I have to double check because I already forgot. Um, go see Chi, then down to the museum. Double check on what I can build for relics, and then head back to the workshop and see what needs to be done. Uh, I need to talk to Chi anyways, right? We so, meet again. Oh, Saint Rock Commission. Okay, that's what I was coming up here for. Uh, and I got a bonus of one point one for. Advanced bonusing. Uh, that's pretty nice. Appears unusual. Oh, um, thanks. Okay. Goodbye. I think it said usable, not unusual. Uh, whatever. That 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 the whole thing going in Logan's house was quite uh, quite long. We meet again. Uh, yes. We just have one more thing to research. So I have not been here. It's only 16 data disk. Uh, we'll go ahead and research that. But we're also going to speed it up, and we're going to do it for night. Uh, we don't have 96. Uh, oh, can we? Can we? Thank you. Still leaves me with 39. I, I don't know what's all in these data disks that I've been giving them, so hopefully it's helpful enough to them. Not too sure. All right, let's run down to the museum. Uh, today is a Friday, so... No, I haven't gone past uh, Fang's lovely free samples of the day. I haven't been doing too good on guessing what samples I should be taking for the day. Um, yeah, we'll take this one right here. That medicine uh, was excellent. You won't be affected by paralysis. New medicine available in the clinic. All right. Let's see what we can get done in the museum. All right, uh, we can make uh, the windmill weather vane. Restore that. Uh, we can make the, yeah, this thing. <laughs> Meowsy, whatever that says, let's restore that. Uh, fish fossil, no, no. Jewel egg, I think we already made. That we've already made. Uh, 
And that's it. I don't say that's it. That's uh, actually pretty good. Uh, let's actually donate this here. Wait a minute. Have I done the techno techno floppy disk box here? All right, and where do I put these other ones here? Large exhibit. Okay. Um, here we go. We'll display that. And it doesn't really matter, but we'll display this as well. So right now, it takes off the one we already put down to put down another one. I remember at my time at Porsche, they finally built us a three-story museum. And that way you could display everything. But I think uh, that was everything we needed to donate. We only built two of them, right? Two relics. So, yeah, we need to go back and finish up the apprentice cooking station and get that commission handed in. And then we'll go down. I think we got to go down to the water tower where it says sticks and stones. And check that on out. So let's zoom on down. Actually, let's go check out the sticks and stones first. That way, when I go back to the workshop, if I need to build something, I can get right to it. I assume that's where we're checking out is the water tower. Or I'm gonna find clues of something else. Yeah, we're going a little bit further than I thought we would be going. I, I don't know what's here. <sighs> well, Tamira, of course I'm gonna to talk to her. Oh. I didn't hear the sound of your footsteps. Are you also out for a walk to ease your mood as well? Um. Okay, so I remember when she was talking to her brother Arvio, was that last episode? With a picture frame, she kind of headed off this direction. So is this where she technically kind of went, but we saw her in the house in this episode yesterday? Um, I'm gonna say sorry what happened with the photos. <laughs> There's no need for you to apologize. I don't blame Avio either. I'm just annoyed at those tourists. How could people act like that? In fact, it was a rather nasty situation. I suppose I hadn't properly thanked you for your assistance. Do you regularly make a habit of helping strangers? Uh, in Sandrock, every flippin' day it seems like. <laughs> in any <laughs> case, it was very kind of you. A rather nice contrast to the behavior of those tourists. I've had them bother me with various propositions before, but that was the worst incident by far. I try to sort myself out when I take my walks, and try to tell myself not let these things get to me, but let's just say I've been taking a lot of walks lately. Let's dance our troubles away. That does not seem like a dancing situation. Um, I'll teach you how to deal with creeps. That doesn't seem like the right thing that she would do. Not as solemnly. Mm. Well, it's nice to talk to someone. Thank you. But I shouldn't concern you with my problems. This view is nice, but I've seen enough. Don't worry about me. Even if you hadn't come along, I would have found some way to deal with this issue. I always do. I must go. We'll talk some other time, Builder. Okay. Uh, no relationship points there. Hi. Let's, let's just have a regular chat with her. Logan used to come by my shop from time to time. He always uh, was polite, but I guess it goes to show being polite doesn't make you a good person. I don't think I have any gifts for you today, technically. 
I mean, I do got stuff, but I don't think it's anything that you're interested in. Growing Guide, Pioneer. Um, she does like poetry, right? Something about planting seeds. No, that's about planting, planting, uh, who explored. Let me give her this book right here. Um, this might be something she's interested in. Uh, plus two. I mean, it's better Catch than... You later. It's better than no pluses, I guess. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I took care of that. I don't know, maybe, I mean, I don't think asking her to dance her troubles away was... That doesn't seem like, uh, the right thing. Sorry, I just saw a mushroom here and I'm like, yeah, we'll pick it. Don't know why. Alright, uh, the cooking station. Let's go see... I forgot. Marble slabs. Marble bricks to marble slabs is what we're doing here. And let's see here. Yep. We'll grab those. And we'll grab these. And... Wait, didn't I grab marble brick? What did I do? Marble brick. Did I not grab a whole bunch? Apparently it hasn't made as many as I thought it would. I mean, we were gone for a long time, but as for the day passing long, it really hasn't uh, gone along too far. Right, let me go grab this stuff out of the civil furnace. Same thing here. And can we start making some magnes bars, maybe? Uh, yes, we can. We're going to make actually 12 of them. And let's go ahead and make another... Oh, nope, nope, that's wrong. Oh, over here. And magnes bars. Start getting some of these made up. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and... Click on magnes bars again. Craft that. And we'll come back over to here. And... Make another set. There, so we'll actually have like 48 magnes bars, which is, I think, uh, actually 24, 26. Okay, whatever. Um, do I have enough? Do I have enough? Uh, nope, need one more marble slab. It'll take about another minute. So I'm going to sit here. Oh, I'll, I want to I wanna gather some stuff, clean up some stuff. And we'll go make this uh, cooking station and we'll go deliver those. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do after that, because I'm not quite sure yet. Alright, two apprentice cooking stations to be delivered. Middle of the day, I think she'll be out in the kitchen area. Hopefully she's not in her room, because I don't think we're good enough friends. There's Elsie. And confirm. That'll do nicely. Uh, 1815 in ghouls, workshop reputation almost 200, experience of a thousand, and I think four relationship points were there. Now, with that much money coming in, I do believe we got to have over 20,000 ghouls. So we're going to go back to our workshop and expand. Uh, just give ourselves some more land. And then I may actually start thinking about, well, I'll see if there's another space available for us. I can't remember how many expansions there were in my time at Porsche. But I remember having two assembly stations on that. Uh, we'll upgrade this. Yep, let's go ahead and just do it to level 6. And is there another expansion somewhere? Or is that it? I think currently that's it for expansions. So this is the area that we get to work with. I mean, that's not too bad. That's actually pretty darn big. Uh, and right now we're able to keep up with everything. And we got to be getting close to where the storyline currently ends for us. Because, you know, we are still in early access. They said about 30 to 40 hours of gameplay. And I think we got more than that in, uh, invested so far. So the thing that we'll be able to do is... 
We'll be able to make a whole bunch of stuff. Stockpile a whole bunch of stuff. Marble slab. I want to make sure. I don't have enough to make any more. Uh, we'll be able to make a whole bunch of stuff. Stockpile a whole bunch of stuff. And then um, as they add more stuff into it, we should be able to get right on to it. Uh, so all the commissions are done for today. Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure it's going to be rather busy because um, we're going to have the water tower to rebuild. Uh, but I do have some stamina to burn through. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Uh, let me check my inventory here. Let me go over to the furnaces. Let's see. What, uh, let's see. Copper. We got a whole bunch of copper. I only got 24 copper bars. Uh, bronze bars I could probably use more of. So let's go ahead and make sure we use all the tin that we got. And that is all my furnaces going. And I was thinking about actually upgrading these or building new ones. Uh, bloodstone cores. Let's go over here. We'll actually upgrade one of these things. How about that? Uh, bloodstone cores. Bloodstone cores. Uh, we'll just go ahead and make four of them for now. Ooh, uh, we don't actually have that much bloodstone at all. Uh, let's go ahead and see. So when I upgrade it, does it just automatically upgrade? Ta-da! Can I do another one? Probably not. I don't think I got enough material. I think we're short on the bronze sticks. Uh, but that's good because what that allows me to do is come back in here, click on bronze bars, and we'll go ahead and craft some more. How about that? Uh, so having this many furnaces is not too bad. I probably will upgrade these eventually. So I'm going to need more bronze sticks. Let's go ahead and we'll just make six more. Jeez, I'm already back down to 24 bronze bars in my inventory. We'll just keep on going through them. Uh, let's see. What else should I be making here? I don't have any copper wire, but that doesn't take too long to make. Uh, copper gears. I only got one. Everything else. Hmm. I don't think it's too important. Uh, let's see. Refiner. Does this nothing. I think, as for weapons, I got... After iron, is there any magnes weapons or anything like that? I don't think so. Stone. We're past bronze because we made iron. Yeah, I think we got uh, I think we got the best well, I don't want to say with the best weapon, but I definitely like the spear. Uh, that's our best choice as of right now. Um, okay, uh, let me go ahead and empty out my inventory. Just by doing this. And I'm trying to think, uh, furniture. Let me stop in the commission office and see what they got for blueprints that maybe I have not noticed yet. Uh, first of all, on the workshop rankings, we're almost a thousand points out of Vienna at this point. And I'm sure once the water tower commissions come out tomorrow, uh, we'll make a good amount of money there. Uh, let's see here. Leather belt. Um, oh, I, I actually got uh, a good amount of ghouls. I actually got over a thousand ghouls still. Uh, let's see here. Iron latch. A bed. Simple chair. Simple wooden chair. Pencil holder. Harmonica. Working desk. Office chair. Fireworks. 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 Gunpowder. Oil lamp. A hat. Canvas. Wardrobe. Despite uh, this wardrobe, this wardrobe's warm colors make one feel at home while choosing their attire. Oh, uh, this requires <laughs> not ghouls. This requires uh, the commerce guild badges. All right, so I don't. I, I got seventy-one, which is not bad. I need ninety. Uh, that would give me twelve attack, which would be kind of nice. And I think this wardrobe of colors makes one feel at home while choosing their attire. I'm not sure, but can I store my clothing in there? I got a, I think I got a good amount of clothing on me, which is something I probably should check. Anything I can upgrade to? Or I did I sell everything? I do have an extra spare pants here. That's level 20. That's level 15. Uh, yeah, so I probably got to upgrade my pants. Uh, 416 hit points. 
A lot more hit points. 7 ability power. Uh, damage taken minus 3%. Max hit point increased by 3.5. I should be wearing those. Should be wearing those for sure. And what do we got here? We got a belt. That's level 18. Defense points plus 8. Uh, that's better than the scarf that we got. Wait, so that left this one open. So what did that take place of? Okay, so Blessing Pendant is the same slot as a belt. So I can still wear the scarf. Uh, what else do I got here? All right, so these two, I guess I need to sell. That only gives me a defense points of four. And I swapped it out for something to give me defense points of eight. So that's better. That's all good. All right, so we figured that out. So I guess the only thing I'm left to do today is figure out what to do with my, uh, my uh, stamina. And I actually think I need to go around and collect some wood because I haven't done that in a while. And being a water tower... That was made out of wood. But Yan said we're going to make it more indestructible. So it might be made out of better material. But I'm going to go around and chop up some wood. And then uh, probably call it another early day as of that. And um, yeah. So I think that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here at my time at Sandrock. But until then, have a good one.